silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. unbound me exactly as I intended the crown is now mine to command mine alone don't listen to it focus on the crown Unparalleled. I would have 
followed it were your mind not destroyed by your sister. But with you gone, the three pitiful chosen fought like children in your wake. I gave them power to harm one another with, while I crafted my design. I used the chosen, while they thought they used me. But the orders are now mine to give. I won't allow it. Again, dominate it! slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me. We are part of its plan. I only needed one Netherstone loosened from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. This was your role, and it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. We need to put a stop to this now!
you out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain, no longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. I thought so too, but that was when I believed it was still an elder brain. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. I was thinking we were finally about to put an end to all of this. Too good to be true, I suppose. The Netherbrain believes it will rise victorious, but it could never predict the extent of our might and the heat of our fury. But first, we must attend to the captive prince. Let there be no doubt. We will take the hammer, and we will free Orpheus. The Prince of the Comet will soar, and the Age of Vlaketh will be ended. The Emperor deserves no more than a blade in its belly. But go ahead, waste your words on the Geich. I will be watching closely for what you do next. Seems the Brain's more reluctant to let go of the Crown than we anticipated. Separating the crown from that monstrosity will be harder than we imagined. It might be time to reconsider our strategy. Waste a step. Indolence breeds madness. Mm. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. At the ready. assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Alithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. 
your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. Do not forget, there's a card yet to come into play. The Orb. If we do not want to surrender the stones, we can still use it to ensure the brain's destruction. Along with my own, of course. This is a risk we cannot take. Your hubris drives you even now. You failed before. I cannot trust that you will not fail again. You must trust me. Hand me the stones. It is true that I withheld reality. I showed Orpheus and his guards as evil beings. And I appeared to you in the form of someone you would trust. Someone who wasn't a Mind Flayer. But I am a Mind Flayer. Illusion is my language, just as words and actions are yours. Do not judge me for being true to myself. I have never judged you. I told you we had one solution. You rejected it. I told you I sought only one thing. Freedom. You have denied me this. You have exhausted our alliance, and in so doing, you have ruined us all. I did everything I could to avoid this, but it seems you have whittled my options down to a single one. In order to survive, I must now join the Netherbrain. with the hammer and free the prince of the comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the nether brain. Try me. Silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You stole an unborn hatchling from my people. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty. The Prince of the Comet, Gith's true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Gake 
would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. In this, we are aligned. I am obliged to overlook your transgressions. We will destroy the Netherbrain together, and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. There is not. We face a nether brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. Just as I was free. I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. The nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me. My prince, no! Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartav Keem crushed. the nether brain and finish this once the grand design is ended kill me it is the very least you can do come it's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid nightmare <laughs> <laughs> 